You don't usually expect people to get cabin fever in the summer, but with the current heat wave, many are choosing to stay indoors when they'd rather be outside. Kentucky Pop-Ups is addressing this issue by organizing night markets that start as the sun goes down. Jay Sobardo visited one at Morton Middle School to see how the organizers are managing to host a cool event in the scorching heat. As the sun goes down, generally, so do the temperatures. And the neighborhood night market here in Chevy Chase is giving people the chance to come outside while the temperatures are a bit more bearable. But that doesn't mean it doesn't present its own set of challenges for some of the vendors here. We've been at several events this summer. It's been a toasty summer so far. So um, we have got some coolers out here. So keeping everything cool, I put things out just as needed. With the record heat that we've been having, it can be hard for some who may want to spend some time outside, but don't want to be out in the middle of the day when it's the hottest. That's what makes a night market the perfect community event. July and late June and August, it's harder to have day markets, although we do, but night markets will cool down eventually, hopefully. Um, so people want to get out when the sun starts to go down. And if you think it's hot standing out in the sun, Try standing over a griddle, serving up specialty grilled cheese sandwiches. It gets very hot inside, but we normally, we have a fan in there and we have an exhaust fan in the back that keep, keeps us sort of cooled down, but we're definitely sweating out here today. <laughs> we also have ice packs in there. Sometimes we just take them out, you know, hold them close to us, that way we can try to cool down. Step says to be on the lookout for more events just like this one all throughout the summer. In Lexington, Jay Sobardo, Fox 56 News. Ice packs have never looked so good, right? Yeah, they did look welcome. Oh.